Hey there, all you curious minds. It's me, your friendly friend, Chimpu. Today we're gonna learn something super cool in math class. Are you ready? That's the spirit. Today we're gonna tackle a concept called multiplication. Now this might sound a bit scary, but trust me, it's actually a lot of fun. Multiplication helps us solve problems faster, and who doesn't love a shortcut? Let's get started, shall we? Imagine you have a bunch of bananas, and you want to know how many bananas you have in total. That's where multiplication comes in handy. Let's say you have three bunches of bananas, and each bunch has five bananas. To find out how many bananas you have in total, you simply multiply. First, we take the number of bunches, which is three, then the number of bananas in each bunch, which is five. Now, when we put these together using a special symbol called the time sign, it looks like this. Three bunches times five bananas. So three times five equals 15 bananas. We have 15 bananas in total. See, it's like magic. Multiplication helps us determine the total number when we have groups of the same thing. Let's try another. Imagine you have a basket full of yummy apples, just like this one. How many apples do we have here? One, two, three, four, and five. All together, we have five apples. Now pretend you have another friend who also has five apples. How many apples would you have together? This is where multiplication comes in. Instead of counting all apples again, we can use a shortcut called multiplication. Here, first we take the number of people, you and your friend, which is two. Then we take the number of apples each of them has, which is five. Now put the time sign in between these two. We get two times five, which is equal to 10. So the total number of apples we will have is 10. Multiplication can be used for all sorts of things, not only counting the fruits. Let's say you're baking delicious cupcakes. If your recipe needs two chocolate chips per cupcake and you're making three cupcakes, how many chocolate chips do you need all together? We can use multiplication again. So as we have done on the previous two occasions, this time also we will do the same. Here, first we take the number of chocolate chips we will be adding to each cupcake, which is two. Then we take the number of cupcakes, which is three. Now put the times sign in between these two, we get two times three, which is equal to six. So the total number of chocolate chips we will need is six. How easy is it when you multiply rather than count? Now you may be wondering how am I getting these multiplication answers like 2 times 3 is equal to 6, 2 times 5 is equal to 10, and 3 times 5 is equal to 15. Am I a superhuman or an alien? And to know these things you may also be thinking that you need to be a superhuman or even an alien. No, neither am I a superhuman or an alien. I know these because of something called a multiplication table. It's like a cheat sheet for multiplication. It contains all the solutions for any multiplication problems. We will get to it in the following videos. So hit that subscribe button, click on that bell, and stay tuned to the future videos. So since we have learned some basics of multiplication, now let's put our multiplication skills to the test with some problems. Ready? Here we go. If Sally has three baskets, and each basket has eight apples, how many apples does she have in total? Got your answer, let's check it then. Since Sally has three baskets, we have three. Then there are eight apples in each basket, so we have eight. Now time for the time sign to be put in the middle. This gives us the equation of three baskets times eight apples, which is equal 24 apples. So Sally has 24 apples. Did you get it right? Well, that's it for today, my awesome learners. Keep practicing your multiplication skills, and remember, math is fun. Thanks for joining me on another fun learning adventure with Chimpvine. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more educational fun. Until next time, keep multiplying those smiles. Bye-bye.